Sometimes you will include information in your document that just isn't suited for a paragraph or a bulleted list. Take this course outline for example. There's a lot of information here, but placing it in a table makes the data easy to read and quick to understand. In this lesson, we will look at creating a table inside of our document and modifying it to fit our needs. The first step is deciding how many rows and columns you want. Rows are the number of cells that go horizontally and columns are the cells that go vertically. Let's make a table that's four columns long and five rows high. Congratulations, we've created a generic and boring table. Let's add some shading to the top row where we would typically add the headings. To do this, click and drag across the top row, then head back to the Table menu and select Table Properties. This window gives you control of how your table looks. You can change the border color and thickness, change the alignment, and set the background color. Click on the box under Cell Background and select a light gray. Now each cell on your top row is a nice shade of gray. Now let's pretend that we changed our mind and now we only want three columns in our table. And we want to add an extra row too. Editing this is simple. Just click on any cell in the row you want to remove, right click and choose Delete Column. If you don't like right clicking, the same option is available under the Table menu. Just a word of warning though, any information in those cells would have been deleted when we removed their column. Okay, to add another row to the bottom of our table, we click on any bottom cell, right click and choose Insert Row Below. Again, this option is found under the Table menu if you didn't want to right click. Great, there's just one more table feature that is sometimes handy to know. From time to time, you may want to merge two or more cells into a single cell. Let's imagine that somewhere in the middle of our table, we want to separate out an entire row. To do this, we select the cells we want to merge, go to the table menu or right click, and choose Merge Cells. Now those three cells have been combined into a single cell. If we wanted, we could go back to our table properties and change the row to a, a nice light green background or something. Take some time to explore the different ways to format tables in Google Docs and include one in your next project. See you soon!